my name is Carolyn Lewinberg. I'm here on Massachusetts land in a place that more recent settlers have named Franklin Park. And I came here to do some chalk drawings that are inspired by the Boston Harbor Islands. And um, I've been working on the Harbor Islands doing art and working with different artists for about 12 years. So um, so I was excited to take the, the approach that I have to art making on the islands and bring it here to Franklin Park. And my approach is to, to really walk around and, and observe and see and notice um, different shapes and forms and patterns and work with that to create something that's going to be eye-catching and um, cause people to really look in a different way at the environment and at plants and get to know places on a deeper level. So I started by walking around. Um, I found some really cool like cracks in the pavement up by White Stadium and I was tracing those, those marks and creating patterns that started to look like the markings on the back of a turtle shell. And then I knew that my connection with the islands for this video would be around um, the story of Turtle Island, which is a creation story as told by a lot of different indigenous groups in this country. And I'm going to read one uh, by Robin Wall Kimmerer. You have Cheez-Its in your pal. No, I didn't bring any Cheez-Its. I brought some water. You thirsty? So, Robin Wall Kimmerer, she's a member of the Potawatomi Nation in upstate New York. And um, she is a poet and a scientist and weaves together her indigenous experience and identity and worldview with uh, her scientific um, knowledge and, and writes about it so poetically. And so her, her book is a real call to action. Um, to really care Look for the it. earth and, and, and live in a more a reciprocal manner. Um, and that by, by being more engaged with the plants and the animals around us, then we can, we can start to heal ourselves and we can start to heal the earth. You can show it in front of the camera. Um, so, She fell like a maple seed, pirouetting on an almond, autumn breeze. A column of light streamed from a hole in the sky world, marking her path where only darkness had been before. It took her a long time to fall. In fear, or maybe hope, she clutched a bundle tightly in her hand. Hurtling downward, she saw only dark water below. But in that emptiness, there were many eyes gazing up at the sudden shaft of light. There they saw a small object, a mere dust mote in the beam. As it grew closer, they could see that it was a woman, arms outstretched, long black hair billowing behind as she spiraled towards them. The geese nodded at one another and rose together from the water in a wave of goose music. She felt the beat of their wings as they flew beneath to break her fall. Far, far from the only home she'd ever known, she caught her breath at the warm embrace of soft feathers as they gently carried her downward. And so it began. The geese could not hold the woman above the water for much longer, so they called a council to decide what to do. Resting on their wings, she saw them all gather. Loons, otters, swans, beavers, fish of all kinds. A great turtle floated in their midst and offered his back for her to rest upon. Gratefully, she stepped from the goose wings onto the dome of his shell. The others understood that she needed land for her home and discussed how they might serve her need. The deep divers among them had heard of mud at the bottom of the water and agreed to go find some. Loon dove first, but the distance was too far and after a long while, he surfaced with nothing to show for his efforts. One by one, the other animals offered to help. Otter, beaver, sturgeon. But the depth, the darkness, and the pressures were too great for even the strongest of swimmers. They returned, gasping for air with their heads ringing. Some did not return at all. Soon only little muskrat was left, the weakest diver of all. 
He volunteered to go while the others looked on doubtfully. His small legs flailed as he worked his way downward and he was gone a very long time. They waited and waited for him to return, fearing the worst for their relative, and before long, a stream of bubbles rose with the small limp body of the, of the muskrat. He had given his life to aid this helpless human. But then the others noticed that his paw was tightly clenched and when they opened it, there was a small handful of mud. Turtle said, here, put it on my back and I will hold it. Sky Woman bent and spread the mud with her hands across the shell of the turtle. Moved by the extraordinary gifts of the animals, she sang in thanksgiving and then began to dance, her feet caressing the earth. The land grew and grew as she danced her thanks from the dab of mud on Turtle's back until the whole earth was made. Not by Sky Woman alone, but from the alchemy of all the animal gifts coupled by her deep gratitude. Together they formed what we know today as Turtle Island, our home. Like any good guest, Sky Woman had not come empty handed. The bundle was still clutched in her hand. When she toppled from the pole in the sky world, she had reached out to grab onto the tree of life that grew there. In her grasp were branches, fruits and seeds of all kinds of plants. These she scattered onto the new ground and carefully tended each one until the world turned from brown to green. Sunlight streamed through the hole from Sky World, allowing the seeds to flourish. Wild grasses, flowers, and medicine spread everywhere. And now that the animals too had plenty to eat, many came to live with her on Turtle Island. And so I love this story because it gives me so much hope that we too can turn the world from brown to green and have more gratitude for all the animals that support us and all our responsibility to care for all of our plants and, and each other. So, um, so in the spirit of that, I am creating this turtle and I hope you too would be inspired to create your own Turtle Island turtle. Um, all you need is some chalk in the spot. This spot really spoke to me because it's got these rocks that kind of look like turtle heads, kind of like sticking out of the shell. And so I just made a, a shape that kind of looks like a turtle and, um, and can just add to it, add different colors. Um, my kid is roaming around somewhere. He just made a couple friends. Um, so that's, that's okay with me. We are quarantining, uh, not hanging out with any elderly people. Um, and the mom is okay too, so sort of unorthodox to some folks in this, uh, in this climate, but, but it's working for us. Um, so if they come back, I'll, I'll hopefully uh, engage them in drawing with uh, continuing to do this drawing. But basically, there's no wrong way to create your turtle. to share with you that story about about reciprocity and and hope and um and this fun activity that anybody can do with some chalk to create a turtle and tell the story of turtle island so thank you for for listening and i hope that you stay well and hopefully we can all go out to the harbor islands this summer and enjoy all the gifts that are out there